What is up YouTube, it is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, we got another free plugin. You guys seem to love the other free plugin, Splash Pro, so I got you another one. Shout out to Krusty, the homie, the producer on Instagram and on YouTube for hooking me up and telling me I need to do a review on this one. I put his Instagram right there if you want to follow him. He makes beats as well. Sample app, okay? And this is it right here. But before we dive in, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can get any video upload to the channel. And don't worry, don't worry. I got some free kits for y'all. And you can also join the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Hollywoodfloss1. Now, you go to samplelab.com. And this is the website, and here's a little bit about it. Revolutionary audio sample editing, okay? So what do they mean by that? Now, it's free. Only thing you got to do is give up your email and then sign in, okay? So you take a harmonic audio sample, okay? Something that's like 8 to 10 seconds, I believe, and the AI turns it into MIDI, okay? And then you can freely change all the notes around and do that. And that's pretty much it. You know, it works on... PC and it works on Mac. So, you know, try for free. All right. I'm not, this is not sponsored or anything. I'm just showing you some free plugins because we've been doing and we've been celebrating AI and ways to help your beat block just to create more, you know, create more, be more free. All right. So, we're going to dive into that. So, I already have it, of course, set up and then I'm, I got my loop set up. So, we got a different bunch of loops that we're going to test it on. Okay. So, this is how it looks. It's pretty simple to the point. You can do a low CPU or high quality and then uh, for the audio and then mono or stereo and then you can load it up from there or you can just drop it drop it in. Okay? So let's see what it works. I'm going to use Scalar something like that, and then I'll I'll open up Electra X or something like that just to show the sounds. Now I've been playing with it for a while cuz I, you know, I like to prepare before I do my videos. I like to study. Um and so far, I don't even want to say anything. You let me know if you like it or not, and I'll tell you my pros and cons. Okay, so I got Somatics Fuego Trap Melody Loops opened up. Um, let's just Malice R38. Okay, so you can kind of hear the preview. And this this what this is a con already. We're sorry, your sample is a bit too long. We just used 10 seconds to select another starting point. Move. So you can you know move another starting point if you don't but usually I like to get the beginning of a sample let's continue so it's just gonna get just the 10 seconds and then the MIDI is gonna pop up and hopefully it is the MIDI that we heard okay so I'm gonna play the audio source again okay so that's what we want or something close to that and then I'm gonna take this and drag it over to Scalar. Now, the reason why I would drag it over to Scalar first is because I want to make sure everything's lined up. Somatics has it at 138 D sharp minor. Okay, so when I put it in Scalar, I want it to already be reading to see if it's anywhere close to that. So we're going to go to Scalar, start, and play. Now, I messed up on that one because it told me that they, it's 104. But Somatics has it at 138. So that's already a problem right there. Let's see if we can correct that. Let's clear this out and start over. Okay, so it gives you a bunch of chords and it says E flat minor right here. E flat minor, which is D sharp minor. Now the timing is off, okay. So let's go to what they suggest on the timer, 104, and let's see what happens. Okay, not bad. Now let's go look at it, because this is a lot going on right here. All right, there's a lot going on. Okay, so that's what you get. They give you the MIDI. It's pretty close from what I'm hearing. Let's hear it again. Okay, so 
Okay. You would have to go, you know, rearrange it and make sure you can get something usable out of it. That's dope. That's dope. It was pretty spot on. Now, here's how I would use it. Let's go on a scalar. E minor, E flat minor, and then I will go in and I will look at the chords and see if I can pull some chords down. So we want to go to our first chord, which is E flat minor, or just a dope chord. Just trying to find some dope chord. Something like that. I would go try to find some of the best chords and then move it over. Or you can just take what they already give you and clean it up. All right. Let's go try to find another one. Let's go use another sample from another kid. Um, JR Hitmaker Delivery 140. So we already know it's supposed to be at 140. We don't know anything else. We're going to cut this out. Go open up Sample Lab again and we're going to move something over all right that's how it's supposed to sound continue and see what we can come up with okay so it has the 140 so we're good right there i'm going to drag it over the scalar first and let's see how it sounds Okay, close enough, close enough, and let's try to work with it, okay? So we got that going on. We just want to make sure that we put something on every bar. Okay, so we can get rid of that, and then let's go see the lines, okay? And remember, it's just 10 seconds, so it's going to be hard to maneuver inside the four bar or eight bar parameter, but you can kind of work it like I've cut off some things and then I'm going to stretch it out and kind of create my own little new melody. So we got something good going there. Oh, I didn't even realize this was at the top. Let's go ahead and take that off. And let's just delete this and then we should have a good four bar loop. And then you can take that, copy it. And now you can clear this off and detect it. Now you know that it is in a flat Dorian mode. All right, and you can just go ahead and work with that. Now, the next step I will do, since I know this, I'm gonna keep this, copy, put it in Electra X, and then get a sound going to it.
and you got something going from there. So let me know, do you think Samp Lab is worth it, okay? So you can take harmonic audio, anything from your favorite song, as long as it's just 10 seconds of it, and you can get the AI MIDI for it. It's pretty spot on, I would say about 75 to 80%, which is good because you can rearrange and you're just not stealing the work, okay? So if you got loops already or you got a favorite song on the radio, you can take that, dump it into Sample Lab, and it'll give you the MIDI for it, and then you can rearrange, and this just helps you with beat block. Let me know what you think. Will you be downloading it? Of course, it's free, so you don't have anything to worry about. It does work. It's not a, a hoax. I just proved that. You just need to give your email and um, you good to go so let me know will you be doing that to help your beat block and save you in a studio session you know take, take some of the chords from your favorite song take some of the chords or take some of the audio and learn not just take it but learn from some of your favorite producers like metro booming or whoever your favorite producer is and then rearrange it for you all right for me man i like it you know it's quick it's easy and it can bring out some new ideas and get you thinking in a different way that you wouldn't think of. So I'm going to give it, you know, a seven and a half, eight out of 10. Let me know in the comments where you be picking it up. Should I do more free VSTs as well? It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, signing off. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.